Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email, asked me, well, I've never done a Control R, a uh, little video on Control R, because I don't use it. I don't really see the big advantage in it. If you move something and you go Control R, it just moves at the equal distance you moved. It's basically doing your last step or your last movement. So if you want to copy, you could go Control D and then move that copy down and then Control R and it just moves it that step. And so I thought if I'm going to do a little video on that, I'm also going to do a video on the plus sign, the plus sign on this part of your keyboard. You grab an item, hit the plus sign, it puts it right on top. Plus sign, right on top. In a, see, there's control R, it really doesn't do anything. Now, but I like that. The one reason I kind of like the nut, uh, the control D is because it moves at equal distance. Control D, I'm holding down the control button so I can't go up and down as you can see. I can if I go too far, but it holds me to right angles. Well, if I move it that distance, when I control D, it moves it that distance again as you, if you hold down the control button. And it's not a problem, if you ever get off, you can always select them all and hit B like in boy and it'll put them to a, the bottom or the top. The next is your nudge keys, it's these four arrow keys right here on your keyboard. If I wanna nudge, I've got my nudge with nothing selected, this is your nudge distance, 2.5 inches. I'm gonna nudge these down, up with the arrow key. So that's the nudge key. One I never hardly use is right here with your mouse button, your right mouse button. Move it with your left mouse button and then click with your right mouse button. It'll make a duplicate with your right mouse button. To me, it's a little awkward. Then there's control C and control V. I'm, I don't see the reason for it because you got the plus sign. So I'm gonna control C and I'm gonna put it over here and then I'm gonna control V. And I made a copy, it pasted it back. So I've got a copy where it was. So let's do that again, Control C. We'll move it over here and go Control V. So I've got a copy, it put a copy and then put a copy back basically. So it does, it's got its uses, but when you have Control D and that you don't really need. And you can always go to edit and copy, which here's your Control C and your control V. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And thank you for watching.